And let me uh, have that now we will be we very brief. Let's actually run, run and uh, make a snort, a snort rule. Do you have, let's open one terminal. Right? So we are at page uh, 14. I oh, know it's not 14. Is it 15? 14. Excuse me. 15. Right? Let's run Wireshark. So we will use uh, make a snow rule against the uh, dark shell, the malware traffic. So I already uh, saved one uh, picket of the, we saw the uh, decoding packet, right? The dark shell. So please open the dark shell using Wireshark. Right, you have you have it open, right? And let's highlight the first beacon uh, packet here. Right? You see that here? Right? And I want you to make a rule and. Hold on a second. All right. So how about do you have highlight this one? Right. Okay. Let's go back to the. Uh, okay. Hold on a second. Once you have highlighted, let's go back to uh, the terminal, and let's just run with the existing rule. There is a uh, some rule that comes with snow by default. A by the by default means once you uh, install the snort using the uh, package manager, it comes with uh, some rules. So I'm typing the command that is listed at the end of the 15 uh, page 15. Right at the end of page 15, there's a snort dash c. And then a configuration file, and that's R as a reading which file, a picket file, and that's L as a where to store the log file. Once you have it, you can run. Then uh, Snow will, will run. You have it run it. If you don't, there's a command here. So there's a, some typo here. It should be malware class. And do you see now results? Let me see if you run the uh, snort. Once you, um, now here's the, com so here's the command. And once you run the snort, the result should be under uh, TMP. Right? Do you see the alert file? This is the one that we are interested to look at right now. So if I do cat TMP alert, this is the one. Here's a uh, this SIP session initiates protocol something like that, I think. And here's the the existing you know rules alerting against the uh, malware. Now let's go to back. Sorry about that. Let's go back and highlight this. Uh, beacon traffic here, right? Highlight the beacon traffic and check the data, right? Once you see that, then please consult uh, page 17. So you are going to look at page 16 and 17. You are going to look at both 16 and 17 and Find a way to write a snow signature. So here's the same rule. You know to make the snow signature, you need to try to find unique pattern, right? Now, the next step is we will write a rule. So I'm at the home directory, right? And then I will make a snow rule. So how about let's do gedit. And I will make a rule with the name. Let's specify name. All right. 
So okay, let's put it as snow dot no sorry start shell dot wall. G edit dark 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 shell dot wall. Right, I just open the app. Uh, G edit right here. Now I'm going to make a very simple rule. You will need to make uh, here as a binary, something like this. You're going to be uh, A, B, A, B, something like binary text need to be here. Right? I gave you this template up here. You know what? Right? Dark shell. So I give you here dark shell and I give you the uh, uh, template here. So let's see. And try to make uh, put the right content rather than this one. And when you look at the uh, Uh, page 17, you should be uh, able to see the uh, some unique part. And please also look at the uh, uh, traffic using the wire chart as well. So uh, just to uh, summarize quick here. So this is just one example of the uh, uh, snow rule, and you can make it much more complex. And usually, more specific the signature, the better, basically. And let let me uh, run the uh, snow quick here, like this. And let me run. All right, and I scroll up here. Okay, I got the six alert, right? And actually, if I check the uh, alert, I just uh, see the cat, and I see six. Is, you know, the rule uh, alert, right? And I think everyone got the uh, snow snow working. So 